here with another video on easy math in previous sunday's video we have discussed about schedule of my video topics okay according to that schedule today i'm going to discuss about limits okay now let's start by introduction to limits <clears throat> okay what are limits what is mean by that word limit okay now today i will explain that now let's take a small example of an equation now let that equation be is a simple equation x square minus 4 by x minus 2 okay this is the simple equation x square minus 4 by x minus 2 okay. as you can see here here from x square minus 4 x minus 2 comes out and from and x minus 2 x minus 2 will cancel but leave this equation like this now here you will understand why i have to this if you substitute the value 2 in place of x okay now according to the graph there is nothing what is there what will happen if you substitute 2 okay if you substitute you may get 0 by 0 right okay what is the value of 0 by 0 it is not defined but how do we have a point here actually this is based on limits according to limits the computer builds that as a line okay now how are limits related to this okay now i will explain now let's take some points now let's take a point a and another point b okay now here as we take grain okay now let's extend these points towards two okay now what if we take value as 1 okay now if we take the value of x as 1 then we are getting the value 3 as here okay now what will happen if we take value 3 if we take the value 3 we are getting the value 5 in the y axis okay now what if we let's zoom this a bit for easy understanding and easy visibility okay now as you can see this is the graph right now what if we move this towards 2.5 now as you can see the value of it for 2.5 is 4.5 okay now what if we increase this here and let's take this point to 1.5 okay now as you can see the value of it for 1.5 is 3.5 right now the idea of limit is you okay, know if we keep on increasing we can easily tell that if we keep on increasing the y value is 3 more than the x value so at x is equal to the y value is 2 more than the x value so we can easily tell that at the point 2 the value of the y is 4 okay now this is the introduction on limits there are still so many tough topics in this Okay guys, now let's learn the definition of limits. Okay, now let's take, let's think there is a function f of x. Now let's think that the value of, that the limit of f of, limit of x tends to a of f of x. Okay, now you may think how to represent that. Limit is represented like this. Limit 
x tends to a okay now limit x tends to a let's take f of x limit x tends to a f of x okay now let's take limit x tends to a f of x okay this is the representation of limit okay now here the meaning of this is if x approaches a from left hand side and right hand side then the value of that function approaches l okay as x approaches a the value of f of x approaches l easy isn't it f of x minus f of x minus l and x minus a will be between infinitesimally small points as explanation before we understand that limit f of x at x is equal to a the first thing we should do is that is to find that f of x is defined f of x is defined in the neighborhood of a means near a it is not necessary whether f of whether x is equal to a lies on the domain of f of x or not means is the value of f of x or not that is unnecessary and we just need the we just need values we just need the values at neighborhoods of a okay now based on this we have a new topic tendency tendency in the neighborhood of x is equal to a we'll discuss this in the next video if you like the video hit that like button smash the subscribe button ring that bell icon it notifies me when i release a new video if you have any doubts comment down below i'll answer them in the next video